But with the on the edge dies, you can see how your die comes in three pieces. So you've got two cutting edges, which we've got here. So this is one of them. This is the other. Then you've got this really beautiful panel that goes in the middle. So that's like your main design image here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this one on the edge. So we're going to be using our Gemini machine. These will fit through your Gemini Junior as well, if that's the machine you've got at home. I'm just going to move those boards out the way so I don't knock them over. Okay, and then we're going to take our die and we're going to pop this on the edge of our card. We're going to take the matching edge of die and we're just going to pop this in and just line it up so it's nice and central. Like so, and then we're going to die cut this away. So a little bit of low tack tape just to hold your die in place as you run it through your die cutting machine. And again, I'm using a 5x7 card blank here to show you a different size. Okay, and then we are going to use our Gemini plates. So we've got our plastic shim, our magnetic shim. It feels like two, so there we go. There we go. Okay, so we've got our magnetic shim got our die cut side up and then we've got our lovely cut and plate on the top okay and we're going to run this through our Gemini machine so we're just going to sandwich those plates together I'm going to move my heat gun out the way pop that under there and just run this through so again these will all fit through your junior machine as well so if you've got the smaller junior machine at home of course you can be using these dies in there too but then you will see how crisply and cleanly this is die cut out so just grab that out the other side there then when we lift this away can you see how we've got the die on the edge of the card there and how fabulous that's then cut out so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of glitter onto here because I think we need a little bit of sparkle don't we okay so I'm going to pop my plates over here I've got so many boards I've got so much to show you today there's loads and loads of new products coming on the 16th of July which is really exciting Okay, so we're going to just add a little bit of glue. So using your, your glue and your fine tip applicator, just onto the little leaves of the flowers. And I have got one that I've already done at home. So we can kind of skip to that one to save on time. And I've got some green glitter here. I did have a piece of scrap card. Let me just grab a piece from under here. Okay. Then we're going to sprinkle over our glitter. And you can see how that then just starts to accentuate the leaves there okay really really pretty just adding a little bit of sparkle onto there so we're going to pop that to one side i'm going to pop this glitter back into the jar okay and then we are going to take the one that i've done at home already so i've left this one just to show you how i kind of cut the edge away so what i do is i take my scissors and i literally just follow the die and just kind of snip the edge of the card away like so and then you can see how you then end up with your on the edge die there okay but you do want something for your card to stand up on at the bottom so what i tend to do is i just take a little piece of acetate and i just stick this inside of the card so use a little bit of glue just to hold this in place And then we'll just stick that down so then that'll then allow your card to stand up but it's going to look like that design elements floating in there okay so we're going to do a little bit of stamping and embossing now so i'm going to pop these bits to one side and we're going to grab in i had my patterned paper which i seem to have oh there it is buried it underneath the boards i was all organized ready to start okay then so we're going to be using our lovely patterned paper here which of course is absolutely beautiful and this is coming up it is fabulous this is one of the papers from the paper set and i'm going to take my stamps as well so i think we'll go for kind of these lovely floral designs with the lines in on here so i'm going to take this one i'm going to pop this onto my block We'll take the next size down as well so we can really kind of layer these flowers up and use them in loads of different ways okay i've got my embossing ink pad here so i'm going to ink this up so lots of light tapping all over the image like so and then we're going to take an anti-static bag to start with just to dust the patterned paper over and again if you are loving these papers they are coming up very soon i'm going to give you a little preview of these so then we'll place that down and press and you want firm even pressure all over the stamp 
Then we're going to lift that off and we're going to cover this with some embossing powder. So we're just going to sprinkle this over like so and I'm carefully going to try and pop that back into the jar. And there we go and we've got that. That might be a little bit hard for you to see at home because I've kind of done it as torn on torn so it doesn't stand out too well but you might see it a little bit better when I emboss it. Okay so we're going to just hold the heat gun still and then as soon as that powder starts to melt and change I'm just moving the heat gun over the image. So we're kind of just chasing the embossing powder. like so and you can see how it gives you this really pretty tone on tone effect okay and then what we're going to do now is we're going to take our coordinating dies and we're going to pop these over the top and just die cut this out so I'm just going to cut a little piece out of my paper to start with just so then we're not kind of running the whole sheet through the machine so what we've done with these dies as well is we've left like a little border just around the edge of the flowers. So if you are stamping, stamping and embossing first, you can pop, you can stamp and emboss first and then pop your die over the top. And it helps to stop the embossing powder getting caught in the metal die because we've given it like a little millimetre just around the edge. Okay, so we're going to pop this onto here like so. So we're just lining this up and then we're going to take our... Uh, low tack tape again and just tape that into place and I'm going to do exactly the same with the smaller one too so we're just placing those down and taping them into place okay and then we're going to take our cutting plate and we're going to run this through the Gemini again so we're going to pop them cut side up and just run them through and I'll pause that and bring it back as well there we go of course, again, these are all going to fit through your junior die cutting machine as well, if that's the one that you've got at home. So then we can remove the flowers and you can just see how perfectly they have die cut out. Really, really pretty. But you've got all of that bling in there from the embossing powder as well. And you can see all of the detail from the stamp as well. So what I've done is I've cut a selection of those out already at home. I'm going to start and layer this up on our card blank. So we'll pop those to one side. We're going to take three of the larger flowers and we're going to pinch down the centre of two of them. So you're just going to work around pinching the petals like so. Okay, and then we're going to glue these together. So a little blob of PVA glue in the centre. And then we're just going to place that down. like so and then you can see how those how beautifully those flowers are going to build up really really pretty but you can see how the patterned papers really make a difference with these as well because it gives you all of that different texture and tone there within the flowers too so we're going to take our card blank back in and what you'll find is these flowers line up perfectly with the on the edge die too so we're going to cover these ones with our patterned paper so we're going to stick these into place like so and we're going to do the same with the smaller ones too so a little bit of glue on there and this is when this this glue with the fine tip applique is fabulous because you can really get into all of the detail so we'll pop that one onto there and we'll pop this one onto here like so and then we're going to lift up the little petals and lift up the leaves as well now of course if you've got your ultimate at home you could be making a beautiful box to pop this into as well or imagine die cutting this from a box lid actually that would look fabulous too wouldn't it so we can just work around pushing up the leaves and the petals but you can see how by adding just that little bit of glitter it really makes your project begin to pop so we can just work around pulling all of these up like so and then we're going to take a little bit of 3d glue gel and we're going to stick our flower into the center like so and just twizzle it around a little bit then we're going to do the same with some smaller flowers as well so we'll grab these in and we're just going to pinch down the middle so you can see that's adding loads of depth and dimension to the flowers on here too so we're just going to work around pinching down the center
like so. A little bit of glue onto there. And then we're just going to start and layer these up. But you can see how, because you've got all of the different colours in the paper, it really gives you like a three-dimensional look on your finished project. A little bit more glue onto there. And kind of squish the petals together a little bit. And then pop that down onto there. And then we're going to pop this one onto here as well. So we're just going to twizzle that round a little bit. There we go. And you can see how fabulous that's all now starting to look. I've then got a piece of my patterned paper to go on the inside of my card. So all of the hard work's been done for you. All of the colour coordination. This is just making it so, so easy. So I'll pop a little bit of glue onto the back of here. And then we're going to stick this down. Like so. Okay, and then we've got a little ribbon that we're going to just tie around the top of the card. I'm going to stick that inside actually because I've cut that a little bit too short. So use a little bit of tape. Of course, you could use some double-sided tape as well at home if you've got some of that. But we'll just tape this down into place. So I'm going to pop a little bit of tape here. Just to hold that down and then just turn that round, add a little bit of tape here just to hold that down and of course if you wanted to you could take a piece of patterned paper and just stick that over the top to cover up all of your workings. Then we've got a little bow that we're going to add onto here so we'll use a little bit of glue gel to do that and we're going to stamp and emboss a sentiment as well to go onto here because obviously you get all of those lovely sentiments in with your stamp set too. So we'll pop a little jewel there. Then I think we should maybe add a little bit of sparklicious glitter into the middle of the flowers as well. So I'm going to just use my glue with my fine tip applicator. I'm just going to add little dots of glue into the middle of the flowers like so. I'm going to grab one of the sparklicious glitters. So I'm going to go for pink champagne, which is one of the lovely pink colours. And we're just going to chuck a little bit of that into the middle. And then we'll just grab our piece of paper again tap off the excess and you can see how that then looks like little crushed jewels in the middle of the flower doesn't it look pretty really really pretty so we'll pop that to one side I'm going to pop this back into the jar and you can see we've already used like a tiny tiny bit of glitter there as well we haven't used too much then we're going to take a piece of card we're going to give it a little dust with an anti-static bag again so we'll just dust that over and we're going to take our stamps which I seem to have buried there they are and um, what sentiment should we go for? Should we go for have a lovely day, birthday wishes, with love? I think I might go for, should we go for with love? I think that's quite nice. So I'll pop this onto here. Just thinking actually we can maybe add a little swirl onto it too. So we'll go for, should we go for with love with a bit of a swirl maybe? Have a look. That's what's so fun about stamps as well. You can really kind of build these up. So we'll pop it that way I think. There we go. So we're going to pop that onto our block and we're going to take our clear embossing ink pad again and we're going to ink up our sentiment. So just lots of light tapping. We're going to pop that down onto the card, lift it off and then we're going to take some gold embossing powder just to heat this up. Of course if you've got the quick dry ink pads at home as well from Spectrum, Spectrum Noir they are going to work perfectly with these stamps too. So we're going to pop that back into the jar and then we're just going to heat this up with our heat gun again. So we're going to grab that and we're just going to hold the heat gun still and then again as soon as that powder starts to melt and change we're just going to move the heat gun off the image. Like so, and then we're going to grab our guillotine just to trim this down to size. So we're going to create like a little tag to go onto our finished project. Just put that there. And 
There we go. So we'll just trim that down to size. And then we'll pop this just on while we're finished hard. We'll use a little bit of glue gel just to stick this down, I think. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually, I'm going to change this a little bit. So I'm going to just shape the bottom of the sentiment in with the swell. And see how you can do that just by trimming it away there. You can just see how it adds a little bit more shape onto there. So then we're going to tuck that in underneath our bow and we'll stick that down with a little bit of 3D glue gel. It's going to go onto there and then you can see that would then be your finished project. So you can see how that all works perfectly together.